Ohio's primary is next week. One of the races on the ballot is the primary for the 9th Congressional District. Megan Hartnett, she sat down with all of the Republican candidates who are remaining to learn more about them. Megan? Well, Jeff, all three candidates have previously held an elected position, whether it be mayor, city council, or state representative. Voters will choose who will face the incumbent Marcy Kaptur in November's election. Kaptur is seeking re-election for her 22nd consecutive term. Meet Steve Lankinoff. I have only held one elective office. I was mayor of the city of Napoleon uh, when I was in my early 20s, uh, as a matter of fact. Uh, I served three terms, but I knew I didn't want to be a career politician. So really most of my working career, I've been in the private sector. Lankanaw has previously worked in the healthcare industry and owned a radio station, but he now works as a real estate broker. There is only one duty, one, one thing on the job description for the nominee uh, of our party, and that is to defeat a long-term Democrat incumbent. Uh, I've done that. Uh, I did that uh, when I was elected mayor. Currently serving his fourth term as state representative for Ohio's 42nd district, Derek Marin has held multiple positions in his political career. I uh, first was uh, elected uh, city council in Waterville, and I became mayor when I was uh, 21 years old. And I've grown up in, in Lucas County for, for 30 years and graduated from the University of Toledo and Bowling Green State University. He says his love of his community is what got him involved in politics. I've always wanted to make a difference and I've thought that public service and being involved in government is the best way to have the most impact uh, for the most people. Craig Riedel didn't start in politics. He grew up in Seneca County near Tiffin and went to Ohio State where he graduated with a civil engineering degree. I ended up working for a steel company called Nucor and I spent 27 years there with Nucor, so my background's all private business. And, uh, and then most recently, I was a state representative here in Northwest Ohio, uh, where I served the 82nd House District for, um, for three terms for six years. Riedel says he was always involved in the community, but after the 2012 presidential election, he felt called to get involved. I retired from Nucor in, uh, in June of 2015 to run for state representative. and. Um, it was something where we just felt, we felt led, we felt called to. Um, and the reason we're running for Congress today is, is the same reason. Tomorrow we'll have continued coverage of this race going into parts of the candidates platforms. For more information on the primary election and the candidates, you can visit WTOL.com. Reporting in studio, Megan Hartnett, WTOL 11.